all right um so this is just a tutorial i'm going to show you how to use autodesk sketchbook to draw on your um galaxy note this is a note 8 that i'm using so let's get, just get right into it so immediately you open the app you're greeted with this interface this um, is your options basically and in your options you have the option to do a new sketch you have the option to go through the gallery of whatever you've created these are works I've created yeah, I've saved the same one over and over so these are created works okay back to the options you have your store where you can purchase things you have like your preferences how you want the device to work pixel preview canvas if you want to rotate your canvas tab for color picker and some other things I'm not going to go too deep into all of it because I want this to be very short otherwise I cannot post it and I want to post a tutorial of me drawing to just today alright and then pen mode that means palm rejection mode so if you turn it off you can use your finger to draw I don't do that and then support and the next pane we have selection transform fill guides symmetry draw styles predictive stroke import image text and time lapse um, they're basically self-explanatory as selection is basically selection in any drawing app even in Photoshop or uh, other desktop grade apps you have selections so this one is the selection uh, magic wand um, this is the lasso and this is the rectangle selection these are all different types of selections like add subtract and all that there you go then you have transform if you wanna decrease the size or increase the size if you want to flip if you want to um, skew um, if you wanna move around what is select uh, what is in an active layer and then um, there are some other things in there you have your fill you can add a gradient guides you can use rulers uh, symmetry which comes in really handy if you're drawing a face and drawing styles predictive stroke which I find very very useful if you have uh, shaky hands and you want to get nice clean lines and then import image text and text if you want to type something make it a bit more graphically nice if you don't want to take it to you know the PC or anything and retype anything you can use text and time-lapse the next we have a whole bunch of brushes I'm not going through all of these but most often I use just your legacy brushes because that's what I started off with when I was using a note 4 then you have the settings for each brush and yeah the next is your color picker normal colors your copy colors for illustration for design I don't really use those that much but hey they're there and you have RGB color HSL uh, whatever this is I can't remember the name of that and then yeah and you have your layers now when you buy the full version of the app you can 
use up to 127 or 28 layers in this app which is good uh, with something like wait, it's five minutes already with, with something like um, Artflow you are going to waste uh, you're gonna lose a lot of layers and then you're gonna end up with 48 layers so keep that in mind but with Artflow you get a, a lot more powerful options when it comes to using your brushes okay all right I am um, 50 force okay there we go five minutes okay so I'm gonna hide that and then I'm just gonna create a new sketch let me save current sketch and then we're di I'm just gonna draw a basic face and then I'm gonna restart a new all right let, let me not use any of the tools yet and let me just go okay so one thing I do like about this app is that drawing feels kinda natural when you sketch okay there we go there we go with the nose All right. That's one weird looking face. Okay. So this is a quick sketch. I'm going to invest time in another video separately because I'm going to upload this from my mobile device. I'm not going to edit this. This is going to be just raw. And uh, so I'm not going to be able to upload anything greater than 10 minutes or whatever. So yeah, next video. So look for part two.